My name is Andrea Stewicki. I'm the Executive Director of Bay Area Adoption Services. BAS, as we call it, Bay Area Adoption Services, is a small international adoption agency started in 1984 and we focus on families that live in the San Francisco Bay Area. So we're small and we're local. We have families that come to us from all over the Bay Area and we have a very personalized type of style. We have volunteers that help. We have people who have been through the process on our staff. So we understand what people are going through when they come to international adoption. We help to demystify the process. I think one of the things that makes BASS really different and unique is that we're parent-led. We have a core of volunteers who teach our orientation classes, teach our pre-adopt classes. Our board of directors has adoptive parents on it. Half of our staff is adoptive parents. And they've been through the process, so they understand the needs of someone coming in, wanting to know, is this doable? Can I do this? And we help them make it happen. International adoption these days is very challenging. It has changed just in the 21 years that I've been in the field from many, many countries open and welcoming to fewer countries allowing families to adopt internationally, instituting more regulations, more red tape, more requirements. Requirements for families have increased. The process has gotten longer. It costs more. All of these things have, have have combined to make it a more difficult process for a lot of people. But there are still a lot of countries that allow it and families that want to do it. So we find that's a good mix. I think for most families going through the process of international adoption, the most difficult part of the process is the waiting period. The period after they've completed all their paperwork and they've sent off their dossier and they're just waiting for a referral. I've had the opportunity to meet orphanage directors in China, in Central and South America, in Uganda, and these people share this common love for children. They really want to find homes for these kids. They know that it's not going to be possible in their country, but they realize that, that there are families in our country that, that are open to these, these children. I think for anyone starting this process right now, I would say one of the keys is flexibility. The more flexible you are in this process, the more likely you are to complete a successful adoption. Countries change, rules and regulations change, the types of children available change, and if you are willing to go with those changes, you are almost guaranteeing a successful adoption. People who are boxed into adopting a certain country, or only a certain type of child from a country are eliminating the vast, vast number of children out there who are in need of permanent homes. I think for families who are in the process and are waiting to bring their children home, I would say keep the faith because it does work out. And we have so many examples of that just surrounding us in our own office. And we are very, very lucky that the Bay Area is such an incredible melting pot of families. We see blended families everywhere. We see adoptive families everywhere. And the key to that success is keeping your eyes on the prize, keeping, keeping your eyes on the goal, and the goal is bringing that child home. And it's, it's definitely worth it. 98% of our families say they would do it again in a heartbeat. I have had the great privilege of traveling to at least a dozen countries overseas and meeting with people who work in international adoption and are helping to find homes for children. I've also had the incredible privilege of looking at children who have no hope of a family in their own country. And I would say to anyone starting this process to stick with it, you will find a child. The child that you hope to adopt may be in a country that you had not even thought of when you walked in our doors. But if you stick with this process, you will complete an adoption and you will become a family.